Hello everyone, welcome to Straight Cow Farm. My name is Melanie Dempsey and I live here in Georgia with my husband and what is left of our six children. We have a 16 year old son and a 12 year old daughter who lives here with us. Um, on my channel you will find that I am a Christian, I love Jesus and so uh, a portion of my channel will be a devotional type of uh, moment where I share scripture and I'll call it Savoring the Savior. Because if it were not for him, I would not be here. He has helped me in so many ways I cannot ex explain besides just saving me, saving my life. So I uh, will devote that time to him. And also, I love being a wife and a mom. It is something I've always wanted to do ever since I was a little girl. I didn't care about career choices. I just wanted to be a wife and a mom to as many kids as I could have. And that is what I've done. So I love that, and so on my channel there will be homemaking stuff on there, uh, cooking, I do a lot of home cooking, um, and because most of it is, is healthier for you and it is more budget friendly, we don't eat out a lot, um, we do only have a, one income in our family because I do homeschool my daughter just because she uh, was struggling with some issues, namely that core math, but um, so I'm going to have some cleaning stuff on here too, showing you all my uglies that we try to uh, take care of. Um, and then um, I love to thrift and decorate that way. So that's very low budget. Sometimes I do my own crafting and DIYs and so that will be on here too. And um, I also um, love to do what some people are doing as homesteading. Um, Feel like God led me to that uh, back uh, in 2018 and uh, started kind of researching farming because we've always had a little garden and some chickens off and on but it never been like a purposeful thing um, but now that all of this stuff is happening um, since I started doing this the COVID thing happened and then there were shortages in the grocery store, and then so many things have happened since then that I am seeing the wisdom in why God led me to that. And uh, it's just nice having uh, fresh food out of your garden, and uh, I like to do it, preserve it in different ways. I'll put it in the freezer, I'll dehydrate it. I've got into the pressure canning and the um, water bath canning, so I love doing all of that, not having all my eggs in one basket, so to speak. And uh, so, and I'll probably have some grocery hauls on here too, just because that is a part of who I am. You know, I'm a mom and a wife, and I see that as not just a position, but a ministry, you know, to take care of the family that God has given me, because it is truly a blessing. And so, that is, uh, for the most part, what all my channel will be. And so, I just want to welcome you. If that's something that interests you, then please just subscribe, like it, share it with someone else, and now let us see what all I have been doing here lately.
before we get started, I'm going to take these glasses off because I am so tired of seeing this reflective light in my glasses, okay? There. I can't see y'all, but hopefully you can see me. So, what I wanted to share with you is, I am so sure some of you are asking, Stray Cow Farm, what in the world is that? Why would you come up with that name for your farm? Did a stray cow wander onto your property? No. We don't even have a cow. Okay, but I will tell you how I came up with that name. So, once upon a time, Alex's grandfather, when he was raising his eight children, he was a sharecropper. And one day, a cow wandered off of the property, straight away from them, got it. And then they went, he and his oldest son, Curtis, went looking for it. And in their adventure of trying to find this stray cow, they happened upon this land. They could see it in the distance from a hill. And Alice's grandfather just thought it was beautiful, and he would just not mind having that one day. And so years later, when his son, Curtis was I'm not sure how long in between here the years were um, he remembered that when the land came up for sales about 80 something acres and so he bought it and it already had an old house on there that had electricity but not plumbing and it's still kind of standing not safe to go into but it's still standing and so he let his parents curse let his parents move in there with whatever remaining children were still at home and then he built this house right beside it in 1963, something like that. So it's an older home. And um, he only lived there for about one year. And then his wife decided she really did not like the small town country life. She wanted to move back to the bigger city in the suburbs. So that is what they did. So when they moved from this house, they let the grandparents, which were Curtis's parents, move in here. And so... By the time my husband came along, this has always been Grandma and Granddaddy's house, and he would come down here all the time hunting and fishing and spending the night, and he just loved it. It was his home away from home. So we've been married for about 33 years, and we rented this house a couple of times um, after the grandparents were no longer living. And then in 2000, we bought this house from his uncle, and so this has been our home for a long time. We only own about, not quite five acres of it, but I just thought that that was just a neat story, sweet story, touching story that I just wanted to honor that history from Alex's family and just call this Stray Cow Farm. So that's how it came to be. The end.
I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I just said what I said. Sorry if it offended you. Or that's just my personality. I can't help it. Well, you know what? We all are like that. We all have a case of I can't help it. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yet there is just this simple nature that we are born with, and it's going to mess up. It's going to screw up. It's going to do the wrong thing. Have you ever noticed a, a two-year-old pitch fit? Um, my little brother, when he was in the nursery, he was called Jaws. Because he just liked to bite. Um, you know, you set a cup of coffee or sweet tea near a toddler, and you say, Aunt, don't touch it. What are they going to do? They're going to reach for it and probably glare at you the whole time like I dare you to do anything about it. But that is the sinful nature, and we're all born with it. It is not taught. It is there. And with it are going to come these natural tendencies to sin against God. But there is hope. For God in his grace freely makes us right in his sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty of our sins. For God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. So, you want a cure for your can't help it? Just pray and ask God to come into your life and surrender your heart to Him. Repent of all of the sin, the sinful nature that is in your heart, and give your life.